Hey, what is up? I'm Zaf, and welcome to another Brown Dust video. And today we're going to be taking a look at the new Eden and Veronia helpers that came out in Korea today. But before that, I would like to announce that we are going to be resetting the Make Your Formation because, like, we're we're gonna try to welcome in Bensina right now. I, I haven't pulled for Bensina, but I will put her in the list because I feel like it's it's much more important to be able to test around her and yeah so definitely i would advise that you guys would make formations based on with Bensina in it because well i i personally also do want to see how she performs and because she will be meta for a bit and yeah if you want to join to make your formation for this week or like next week i don't know where, when it's going to go out but yeah, if you want to join the next one, the list of mercenaries I will be in the screen right now with Bensina in it. And yeah, let's go ahead to the Eden and Veronia helpers. <clears throat> so yeah, let's start out with Eden first because he is going to be really, really much better now with the new patch in Korea. So I feel like everything is the same and the only change in his stat right now is he does get an additional 50% crit rate, which is like it's from 15 and now it's up to 65 and I feel like that is a lot because having 65% crit rate means you can solo buff him with a Refi or maybe a Michaela, but I don't I I highly would not recommend putting Michaela with him because he might kill himself on a second turn. I think. Yeah, on the second turn. And yeah, let's go ahead to his skills. Let's go with the skill one first. So it's still the same damage reduction and HP consumption with a curse counter, and it only really changes at plus 12. So at plus 12, he has a nullifier in addition. I think, yeah, a nullifier in addition. And also 20% defense, which just goes up and until plus 15. So it has no changes in defense at yeah, also the HP consumption increases as you plus him higher, which means he will be he will be consuming 50% HP at plus 14. That's 50% of current HP. I, I think it's also important to emphasize that it's current HP and not max HP, which I think, as far as I know, means that he will not die to his own HP consumption because I think it will stay at 1 forever until he gets hit. So I think that's re really nice. It's not the same as the Michaela HP consumption because Michaela's HP consumption is based on maximum HP, which is why I do not recommend to run him with Michaela because he probably will kill himself in a second turn. And at 50%, he does get a 35% defense, which means that's 35 plus 10, 45% defense. So you have 65, 65, if you want to reach 100%, you need 65% from runes, which if you have like two 27.5% runes or like 130 or 125, you will be able to get 100% defense. He is pretty much like an Angelica, but he is, I feel like, correct me if I'm wrong, he is better than Angelica because of his skill too. Because now, aside from it's a, it's a damage reduction, you know, it's it's a damage based based on his HP loss, which again I think this is the reason why they increased the HP consumption so that the damage from the, his skill two would be even stronger. <clears throat> so it now ignores defense, and Angelica does not ignore defense. So I think that is the edge he has over Angelica, and it it's really the same thing until plus fifteen. It just increases damage to a maximum of. 450% and his skill 3 the changes in skill 3 is that instead like currently net right now a plus 10 he's still like not with, in the global server he's still plus 10 his third skill is activated at plus 3 and is an attack buff while uh, on the Korean server right now it's a crit damage and he gets the attack buff at plus 3 so it just increase, keeps increasing until plus 15 to a maximum of 125% crit damage and 10% per turn and 100% attack. Let me pray first. 100. 
100% attack plus 5% per turn. His skill, his last skill is still the same thing. There's no changes. It's still the same thing. It's a stat weakening immunity. So definitely Ed, Eden, Eden, however you say his name, is going to be really good. He is he's like an Angelica, but for me, in my opinion, he is like the better version of Angelica. I think because primarily because of his ability to ignore defense, Angelica will get stuck with another Angelica or a Dalvi, while Eden will not have a problem. Angelica, however, has a full immunity, while Eden only has a stat weakening immunity. I was actually thinking of running him with, he would be good with Estella, Stella, because if he doesn't have a, well, he will survive, he will actually keep surviving until he get hit, gets hit by something, but yeah, Stella does give him a life regen or a, a vampiric, uh, a life steal. <laughs> I think, and also I think how it goes, it, uh, he works with Stella because I think he attacks and then after he attacks, he, well, while he attacks, he does his HP consumption and does, does his additional damage. And that's, after that is lifesteal. I think that's the, the order of the lifesteal and attack order. Yeah. But again, he does have his own weakening immunity already. So yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's actually not that great with the Stella because he also has, already has really high crit rate. And right now, with everyone using Ruffy, Ruffy is enough to buff him 200%. Yeah, I think that's it for Eden. Let's go to Veronia. Veronia! The very outdated 5-star <laughs> supporter in the game. He was, she was good before. Like, like way before when we started. She was very good with Valze because Valze really took advantage of the full immunity. And yeah, so his skill, her skill 1 and skill 2 is now in one buff now. It's on skill 1. That's okay, 30% attack, 30% attack based on support, 20% crit, and then 50% crit damage. And on plus 14, she has 80% attack that, no, 80% critical strike chance, crit rate. That's really high. That's like a 100% crit rate. Oh, no, 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 no. It's 80% on attack and then 35% crit rate. 35, how much? It's 181. As also, I've seen, I think they buffed the support numbers because 181, I think. The five stars were only at like 170 something and then the legendaries were at 180 plus. So yeah, 181 times 0.35. That's a 60. That's a 63% crit rate of plus 14. No, 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 no. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, she... Oh, <laughs> that's a 63% crit rate at plus... Plus 9. Yeah, plus 9, you can get that kind of, uh, that amount of crit rate. And he d she does have a lot of attack power. That That is a lot. 80% is a lot. That's 181 times point eight. What? Oh yeah, oh yeah. 181 times point eighty. That's a hundred forty-four percent attack boost. That is a lot. And then there's a crit damage with one hundred and eighty-one percent crit damage. So is her skill two now is now a defense buff? Oh it's actually the same from plus one, plus zero to plus fifteen. That is the third, four. When does it? Oh, it upgrades at plus 10. It goes to 48. That's 181 times 0. 0.48. That's 86% defense. That's actually nice. But the problem is that it's only two turns. So it's basically only for the turn of the attack so that, to, so that whoever is attacking can avoid counters. Probably will be good for Alec. But, uh, dude, he, he, she still only has one tile range. That was her biggest problem. That's my biggest problem. The dogs are my biggest problem. <laughs> yeah, her, <laughs> her biggest problem was the tiles. She only has one tile, which is... I'm just gonna shut up for a bit. A little longer than a few minutes later. And we're back. Yeah. So, yeah. 
Her, what was I talking about? Defense? Yes, I, I actually, <laughs> I actually forgot what I was talking about. Yeah, the defense. I don't actually know if I was talking about the defense, but yeah, the tile. Yeah, the tile is the biggest problem for Veronia. And they did not really fix that problem because, dude, one tile is not good enough. Like, it's just, it's too selfish. Like, Eventually, we're going to be using a lot of warriors, and one tile is not enough. The durational is also kind of good. 16 turns is good, but yeah, I just I just don't see it being good. Not like super, like meta good. So a skill 3 is still the same. It's still an immunity with a damage reduction, and her awakening is a damage reduction with a very high HP recovery and has immunity to we come on dude <laughs> not even a full immunity just an immunity to weakening she, she's still going to get like cc she's going to get stunned and everything <sighs> the, the by far this has been the most disappointing disappointing helper update like like veronia is the most disappointing helper update because she's still not that great like she can provide defense but it, it's only two turns that's just i was hoping that you could use this to like make someone into a wall into like a certain lane but two turns is not going to do it so it's not veronia is still bad veronia is still bad i i mean correct me if i'm wrong but i think she's still going to be not that great Unless you're trying to boost something like an Alec, <laughs> the only that's the only reason I can see this working is for Alec. I think Alec also has immunity already. He has immunity or only attack interference. Does he have immunity or only attack interference? Where's Alec? Where's Alec? Where's Alec? Because Alec doesn't have 100% defense. And yeah, only attack interference, and he does not have a defense buff. So Veronia might be good for Alec, but even even if you're going to run Alec with Veronia, that's 48, right? It's 48. 181 is 48. 48 percent. That's 80. Yeah, 86. Yeah, you're still going to need a defense rune on Alec. I don't really don't know who Veronia is supposed to be good with. Like, it's she's also not going to be good for Valze because because Valze already has a death guard, so that defense defense buff is useless. I was hoping that they would change her tiles, like kind of make maybe make her tiles into something like a Dalvi. It's like a Dalvi Dalvi tile where there's a tile in the middle and then up and then top and bottom, like a three tile top bottom, or something like. Who was it? Isabella? Isabel? <laughs> but one tile is just not gonna cut it. I, j I don't think it's gonna cut it for the meta. Yeah. I mean, Eidolon is good because she does have a mechanic where the more the, the longer the battle goes, the stronger her buff gets. Veronia doesn't have that thing because you're you're only going to be buffing one character, so you're you're going to be expecting to like buff another someone else when the one you're buffing dies but mm, no it's a no for me <laughs> anyway if you want to join the make your formation that we're going to have next i'll put i'll put the list of mercenaries that i have right now in the, in the screen that that that's including Vencina because i'm assuming that i will be able also Vencina is going to be good and i think at plus six or plus five so i'll probably be able to make her function so, yeah, that's that's it. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>